Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a life-changing event we've all been waiting for. The Car 98K has been released in Season 4. Let's take a look at the challenges that got this thing to interstellar. First, the damage, the range, the fire rates, the mobility. Headshot damage, 198, out to 50 meters. This thing is what the SAB-50 should have been. Upper torso damage is also one shot out to 50.8, which is also the minimum damage range. And a lower torso and upper legs, it's going to take two shots there. Rate of fire, about one round a second. Recoils, nothing to write home about, but I didn't notice it at all because the thing, you shoot it one at a time because the rechambering speed now is about 1.3 seconds. Movement speed is really good at 5.1 meters per second and 5.6 meters per second sprint speed with a 7.1 tactical speed. You're at SMG ranges right there. You can run around with that bayonet and GAC if that's what your preference is. And then handling a bit slowy at an ADF speed of 355 milliseconds and a sprint to fire speed at 251 milliseconds. You're going to probably want the quick grip gloves for the swap speed because that's nearly two seconds. First we have the popping out camo and you'll be popping off with this weapon. You need 50 operator kills after level two. Second, the delighted liquefaction camo, which is really weird. You need 50 headshot kills with a car 98k after getting to level seven. This is probably going to be the most challenging of all of them. When I say challenging, not difficult, but it's going to take a while. Level 11, you go for the wild lines and wild times camo. You need to get 10 bare bones kills with the car 98k. And this is a cool camera. Look at Casper ghosts running around the thing. Level 16, that's the maximum level. Get two operator kills without dying 15 times. The Gilded Challenge, once you reach max, you have to have all the other camos completed and get 50 kills shortly after ADS. I consider these quick scope kills, but it's a lot more forgiving than quick scopes. And then once you have the Gilded, you can go for the Forged Challenge, and that's get two operator kills shortly after sprinting in one life with the car 98k and let me give you a hint by this time you have all the attachments if you put the bayonet on it sprint and melee people with a bayonet that counts really fun and then for the priceless 20 operator headshots with iron sights equipped to the car 98k this dovetails nicely with the season four week one challenge that's almost exactly the same Let's have a look at the configuration that I ended up with after all was said and done. I like the overpressure rounds. It increases the target flinch by 83%, 2.2 newtons. People are going to be twitching on the ground once you hit them. I use the repeller stock. The recoil is mildly affected. I didn't notice the recoil at all one way or the other, but it increases the ADS movement speed to almost three meters per second. That's a composite as always. And the ADS speed is helped down to 355 milliseconds. Again, that's a composite. The Jack Glassless Optic. It says it hurts the ADS speed, but 1% you're not going to notice. I like the glassless optic on the Car 98K. The Bayonet. It hurt the ADS speed, but this thing is a must, at least for having some fun, because you can run around just like you have a knife. The XRK Edge BW4 hand stop, and that helps with the ADS speed. Hip fire, I'm not worried about hurting with this weapon. It also helps with the movement speeds, with the ADS speed, like I said, with the sprint to fire speed, 251 milliseconds. It's not horrible. But there's at least one sniper that's better than that. So let's take this beast onto the field of battle. The fun, the awesome, the deadly Car 98K and see how we got it to Interstellar. All right, before we start this journey, let's check out some numbers. Compared to the SAB-50, they're both marksman rifles. Bullet velocity significantly better for the Car 98 and target flinch as well as effective damage range that's a big thing to keep in mind 41 meters more that's 50.8 meters versus for the sab 50 only 9.7 
that's one thing that kind of kills the SAB-50, in my opinion. It's a wonderful weapon, but compared to the CAR-98, it just can't reach out and touch you. So here are my initial touches with this weapon. I was excited. If you look at the recoil, significantly better for the CAR 98K. I mean, night and day. Hip fire, I'm not even going to worry about that. It's the aim down sight speed that gives the SAB 50 a fairly large advantage. But then its range is a shotgun's range. Now, in terms of movement speed, very, very close. There's some advantages in sprint to fire to the SAB-50 also. So right now I'm just trying to get it to level 2, which I'm already at. I mean, this thing leveled up completely in about three or four games because there was double weapon XP going on. There seems to always be double everything going on. I don't know what has gotten into Sledgehammer. And in... As soon as I got the optic, I put on the jack glassless. And there's popping out. We had to pop off to get popping out. Now we're already to level 7 and 11. We're going after delighted liquefaction, the headshots. And I think that's going to take most of the time. Uh, bare bones kills, and you'll notice I haven't put or taken the optic off just yet. And then two kills without dying 15 times. Those are fairly straightforward. There's a headshot, and there's a second without dying. And then, of course, I immediately die. Everything but bare bones is getting lit up right now. It's a headshot. Took my time aiming sometimes. Sometimes I end up buying the farm. Another headshot. Actually, that wasn't. <laughs> Look at there. The guy was just standing there. And there's two without dying. I had a lot of fun with this with this weapon. The CAR 98K has been long overdue to come back in my life. It just feels comfortable. I, I'm wondering why they put it in the sniper category, though, because they gave it, or I'm sorry, the marksman rifle category. There's a headshot. Second kill, another headshot. Should be in the sniper category. There's yet another kill. And I've taken the jack glassless off. I checked to make sure that everything is lighting up there for the camos on the end game tracking. And wound them and gack them. Ooh, there's a miss. And there's a headshot and a second kill. And I'm getting close. Perfectly lined up for a headshot there. And another one. No, I guess not. I like picking people off of head glitches because it kind of helps me out. There's a double kill with a headshot and a triple kill. So I'm getting kills without dying. Two kills without dying. I'm getting headshots. Grandpa's just doing everything at once. Great bullet velocity. And there's the wild and woolly one. So we're done with that one. Going after the boo, the ghost, and the delighted liquefaction. Putting ourselves in the blender here. There's another headshot. So that one did, even though it's the second camo, it did take the longest time to get it done because head, not every shot's going to be a headshot. You can see that. Two kills without dying there. One. Come on. I'm soaking on the hard point, too. And I think that's the Hey Boo camo. So I got the ghosts. Now we need the delighted liquefaction. Still, the 50 headshots. You can see I put the ghost camo on. I'm running around like Casper there. That head glitch didn't give me a headshot. No headshot. Oop, there was a miss shot. It's hard to shoot at a lady. It goes against my, oh, well, 
unless I shoot her in the head. Goes against my upbringing. There's another headshot. I think naturally for me, the car 98, I shoot it high because it's a one shot kill either in the head or the upper torso. Two shot kill otherwise. Ooh, we're at the bottom of the list there, but uh, if you'll notice, the bandwidth is really tight between the upper and the lower. A couple more shots. There's another head shot. Take my time, line it up. Just a normal shot. And it's good to get the knifer. The obligatory knifer with a shield and a knife. So overpowered. Okay, there it is. Delighted liquefaction. We're going for quick scopes now. Not really quick scopes. That's a misnomer. You can aim down sight. Take a second there. Have fun with that headshot. Knifer. And uh, they, it, it'll count. I'm not sure what the timing is on it, but I know all those are going to work. That's a quick scope machine. That one worked, and it wasn't necessarily a quick scope. That one wouldn't have, but it that one does. And Grandpa seems to be getting all kinds of headshots. All of those are counting. Basically, it's just 50 kills because... <laughs> sorry about that, buddy. I'm not sorry about that one. Got Elvis there. The king. Elvis has departed the building. Now, that wouldn't have counted. That one does. So it doesn't have to be an immediate up and fire. That one counts shortly after. I don't know if it's three seconds or two seconds. That one counts. That one doesn't because I'm on my back twitching. And I've got 40 of the 50 done already. It takes about two games to get the 50 done. Two games or less. If you get really... Start really raging. But we got plenty of time for 10 quick scopes in this. On this map. There you go. Wound them, then gack them. I got that guy there. Were two more quick scopes. So I got to be getting close. You can see my Caspers look like. Maybe I could get some felt pajamas that look just like that Casper camo. Still need two. Tight game here. And I get obliterated. But that's how I celebrate my Gilded. That last one actually was shortly after. So now I got to get two kills after sprinting. And they're pretty, oh, sorry about that. You should never take somebody's execution. That one probably counted. They were really lenient about the sprinting thing. But here's the hot ticket. So, Grandpa likes to snipe. That doesn't make me a sniper. It doesn't make me optic pomage or sp sprat or agony or anybody like that but I still like to snipe but here I'm going to take the path of least resistance and here's what I found out that it was with the two kills after sprinting if you put the bayonet on and you run up to somebody and gack them with a bayonet and we're starting to light it up so then it counts so bayonet kills count and once I learned that Evil Grandpa just had an absolute ball with the bayonet. There, that one shortly after sprinting. I mean, it would have been no problem to get these done just shooting, but the bayonet added a new twist. There's my first bayonet kill, and I'm thinking, well, that, that was nice. So if you're think you won't be able to get the, the snipes done because it does take some practice I'm sure that one counted there that's how lean they are I've got five of them done then put on the bayonet and run around and just gack people that one counted this guy here might as well just stab him now I need to run find someone else oh, that was it the game was over at that point 
I'm not sure whether that counted. Yep, it did. Or not. Okay, just stab him. And gack him. Gack him. I don't know how far you have to run, but I don't think it was that far. So that one would count if I'll get a second kill after sprinting. Shortly after sprinting. And there it is. Two stabs that counted. That stab counts. Yeah, I'm racking these things up. That stab counted. If I can get a second kill, and there's a second kill on Elvis. Elvis is wearing a black rubber suit. I consider that one a pay-to-win suit because there it's hard to see. There's another stab on Elvis. We are obliterating these poor guys, sending their pixels to Jupiter. I'm just running around like a head with my chicken cut off. There's another, and another, and another. <laughs> yeah, that bayonet was fun. I enjoyed shooting it. I enjoyed all the quick scope kills, but this is just absolute pandemonium. And they're all counting. There it is, forged. I celebrate it by buying the farm. So now we got to go to priceless. And I'm going to take, it's got to be iron sight headshots. I got to take the jack glassless optic off of it. I can leave the other stuff on there. 20 headshots. That's all that's separating us from our priceless camo and interstellar. Take time, line it up, get your headshot. There's an, oh, I, had to have been one. That wasn't one. There we go. Let's put the muzzle right to that guy's ear. Hear the bullet coming. There's another headshot. There's another one. I mean, we were just on another. And I run into the little cubby hole there. There's another. It's good for the knifers. Good for the king. Elvis loves it. And I missed the headshot there. Aimed a little too low. I think we only need a few more. That wasn't one. I couldn't even see the guy. It's kind of late aim assist. There's one on Elvis. Moby Strawberry is Elvis. I don't know what this guy's doing. New Elvis. Line that one up. Taking shots. Grandpa's... Taking fire. There's that guy again. He's no longer Elvis. We still need four more. Always keep your in-game tracking working so you can make in-game adjustments if the scoreboard isn't getting lit up and you maybe have the wrong configuration. Oh, there's Greeny again. Is, he, is that an Optic Texas uniform? All right, that guy's been annoying me. Somebody else is up there. These guys cared more about climbing the thing. There's a headshot. Climbing the derrick than they did about winning. There's Moby Strawberry. Back to being Elvis. Just need two more. Is that one? Nope. Oh, there's the gold, gold mastery. The gilded mastery. There's somebody with his head peeking out there. Had time to line that one up. We get a header out of it. I'm going to go get his tag. And I think that's my final headshot. So there's Priceless. In celebration, I'm going to chase this guy down and stab him with a bayonet. So, hey, good challenges. You need to do it. This weapon's powerful. I think it's the most powerful sniper out there. Definitely the most powerful marksman rifle, in my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. And here it is in Priceless, with the bayonet attached. All the challenges are completed. They were decent challenges this time. Seems that Activision or Sledgehammer have been giving us pretty weak challenges, ones that are too easy. This one, a lot of fun, and it feels like you've accomplished something. Of course, with Priceless comes Interstellar. I'm going to leave this configuration as my primary configuration in the arsenal because the bayonet is so much fun and it's very powerful. Thanks for hanging with me. 
Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers, peace to you, and I'll see you either later today or early tomorrow morning. Take care.